Today I'll be reviewing and installing the Advanced Wheel Locks and this will be on my 2019 Honda Accord and this this is the box and this is the wheel lock set okay and then when you open it true security starts here and here's the pamphlet you get you get a sticker you get a it's a magnet there's a key code written so it's a magnet and you get a uh, it's a sticker you can stick it anywhere you want same thing with the key code because you can't lose that key code you need the key code to replace your socket okay and then when you remove the this piece here's your uh, got the, the security locks and the, the key and there's also a key code printed on that sticker it's in the back I'm not going to show it but there's your key code too it's printed so both of this key has the key code on it and I bought one with the extra key so you can buy it with a signal key or an extra key so I bought it with the extra key and you get the four the four locks this is how they look and this is how the inside look and also I bought this with my own money they did not send me this as a sample or nothing this will pay with my own money and that's how much I paid. And you can see uh, I got the extra key. And these are the Honda locks. And this is their locks. And this is how the Honda locks look. That's the Honda key right here. So I have the Honda Sport Wheels. This one came from the factory, from the dealer. And you should see the socket's a little too tight. Too tight, I can't get it out. I mean, it, it wiggles, but I can't get it out. So if I got pliers, I can remove it. So it's a little too tight there. So I can remove it. And there's that lock right there. And I added some grease around the ring right here so it can slide in and out easily. And this is how it looks. Now maybe I wish it was the black ones. Maybe I'll throw some paint on this, just this here, just to blend it in. But overall it's nice. And I'll show you on the on this side. I already got one in two. But on this side. I don't know if it's the rims, it slides in easily. So I don't know if that side is just a little tight. Maybe over time it'll, it'll glide easier. But overall it's still nice. And I torqued this down to 80 foot pounds. Alright, so I removed the, the Honda one. And I'm putting theirs on. And first I thread it in by hand. Then I'll grab the tool. And line it up lined up and I just spin it by hand let me grab that it's a 19 it's a 19 socket and then I just tighten it tighten it until it stops well probably tighten it by hand first it's easier with two hands but so once it gets hard I'll grab my torque wrench so I grab my torque wrench to 80 foot pounds And it click and that should be it and see this one I can pull out probably by hand maybe yeah see I can pull this one by see some of them I can pull out by hand it's almost out it just I put grease on it and it's hard to grab so I mean it works yeah see it just comes out boom and that's it and this is how it looks and then to remove it you can grab the socket, the, your safety, your guard socket, and you gotta line it up. But the easier I found to line this, oh, actually, this one got lined up. You can grab a, your socket and you can put it on the socket, 
and you line that up. It's, it's easier to line it up too, and, and you can spin it and it lines up, then you can unscrew it. I'm about to try unscrewing it. So I'm gonna try unscrewing it. I mean, I'm doing this with one hand, so let's see if it works. Yep, I got it unscrewed, and yeah, it spins freely. And yeah, you can unscrew your lock socket. All right, I'm about to just torque it back down. And this is how they look when it's installed. Like I said, maybe I'll sharpie this part or paint it or something, just this part so it can blend in more, but overall, I like it.